think of Amber? I screwed up a diagnosis. You don't seem that upset by it. Diagnosed a guy with adenocarcinoma three months ago. Told him he had six months. So now you've got to tell him that he's way behind on his Christmas shopping. He didn't get worse. I rechecked everything. Biopsy was a false positive. Harmless lesions caused by talc inhalation. Medical clemency. Interesting. Why would you use that word? Because I'm interested. When I'm interested, I describe the things that make me interested as interesting. Most people would say good, possibly great. Why aren't you able to just enjoy Why aren't other people able to just be interested? I got your new test results back. Sorry, Mike. Who's your colleague? Dr. House. Yes, Dr. Wilson. I really don't need the consult. I know the prognosis. Apparently not. Mr. McKenna, I can't believe I'm able to say this, but you're cancer-free. The biopsy looked like adenocarcinoma, but it wasn't. Harmless lesions on your lungs. You're fine. <laughs> I don't get it. Cool. No, it's, it's, I know this must come as a shock, but I've double checked the labs. I just accepted an offer on my house. I've had three goodbye parties. I, I'm buying plane tickets to Venice. You can't still use those if you're alive. I have to pay a $6,000 broker commission on a house I'm not selling. Money, I don't have. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. I, I, I would have thought the living would mean more than the expenses. It's not about the money. Jimmy Quid's Greatest Stiff, 1989. A profit-seeking entity released this? Put it out himself. He wanted people to listen, but apparently didn't want people to enjoy listening. Now, why would someone... Truly a mystery. Why would anyone do something just to aggravate people? Why would you have a blank liability release form plus your checkbook on top of your desk? Probably because they were in the second drawer in a manila envelope under a book and you put them on top of my desk. You usually keep your checkbook at home. It's your go-to excuse for why you can't lend me money. You're gonna pay the guy the six grand, aren't you? There are other people I write checks to. I do have cable. There's no negligence without injury. I handed the guy a death sentence. He's not distressed with a death sentence. He's distressed with a life sentence. I gave him three months of misery. You gave him three months of being someone special. You're paying the guy because he used to be boring and without you, he's gonna be boring again. I can't apologize enough to you, to your family. There may not be any technical liability here, but you're ripping it up because you think it would be wrong to take money from me? I think it'd be wrong to take so little money from you. You're out 6,000. You ruined my life. I ruined three months. For the first time in my life, I was living in the present. Because that's all it was. You're suing me, not for the wrong diagnosis, but for the right one? Have you spoken to a lawyer? You gave me happiness. And then you took it away. <laughs> <laughs> 